Hi everyone, welcome back to Glenmore 2. We are expanding our territories, getting whiskey and people and landmarks and stuff. Let's carry on. It's Marty's turn since he's at the back of the row. So what would he like? Would he like some more production? Some more wheat might be nice to keep activating his distillery. Some cattle, since he doesn't produce those at all. But I think, yeah, he's going to... Now he could grab this wheat tile here. Because this is an overbuild tile. He could replace something he doesn't care about anymore. Unfortunately, the only thing he could replace, since it can't go on a river tile because it hasn't got a river running through it, it would be nice to replace Loch Loki, for example, because it doesn't do anything. And you don't lose access to your landmark tile. The only thing he'd be able to replace would either be his distillery or his existing wheat field. And he has to pay to, get, to take it, so I don't think he's going to do that. Overbuilding is another new addition to Glenmore 2, by the way. So I think he's kind of cornered the market on that. He's going to get something he hasn't got. He's going to produce some cattle, I think. He Now, he hasn't got any wheat, so he's going to place it on this side so that wheat's produced. Because if he activated his distillery, he hasn't got any wheat, and he'd have to buy some, probably. So first up, he gets a cattle and a wheat, and then he gets two movements as well. I think he's going to get started. Oh, not him, not his Scotsman. His Scotsman's going to wade through the river all the way through. So he goes out, and we're saying that this is the top of the circle here. So he is going this way now. New tile is going to be Dwart Castle. And there is going to be a big jump in tiles, because this start tile is going to go away when people go over it. Uh, so let's see what the dummy player takes. He's taking three. So this doesn't count, because this doesn't... This, nobody can have this. So one, two, three tiles in the future. It's a trade tile that lets you trade in three different things for six points. That's gone. So this is gone as well. And so we actually have one more tile. So after Marty has chosen his tile, this one will come out and we'll have B scoring. So he could take that wheat one just so that he has another option. But he, he doesn't want to have loads of tiles and things. Because he had fewer than me, didn't he? So he can cause me to lose some points by the end. I think he's going to do something possibly a bit risky. He's going to jump quite away to the ship builder because he is going to get himself a lot more movement this way. So it costs a cattle to take, which he has now. He has to go on the river. Now he's off his territory, so I think he can place it where he likes. He's going to place it over here, I think. Now, does that mean he wants to move one so that he can keep putting things on the end here? Because he can't, yeah, he can't put things. He's going to use one of the three movements he's getting to move his Scotsman there because he can't place anything at the end of a river at the moment. Now he can. And he still has two for his ship that apparently capsized. One, two. So he can now look at these bonuses and take one. So he can either have a wood, a resource of his choice, or three points. I think, since wood's still really hard to come by, he's going to take the wood. Or actually, maybe he will take the take anything option, just so that's not available to me when I finally get over here. And it goes anywhere. Donan Castle can look after the wood. So we need a new tile to come out after his turn. And it's a nice village, but it's the last B tile. So we compare. Scotsman on the castle. Marty has one. I have three. That's a difference of two, which is two points to me. Next up is landmark cards. I have two. Marty has two. So no difference there. No points. Whiskey. Marty has five to my three. He has two more, which is two points. Finally, we have the person tiles. I have two of them. Marty has one, two, three, four, thanks to David Hume. So he's got a lead of two. That's another two points. Oh, and actually, this got skipped over, didn't it? So we need our first C tile. And it's going to be Loch Ness. Loch Ness gives you the permanent ability that every turn you can activate one of your tiles, which is pretty big deal. My turn, I would definitely like to overbuild. I do have wood to pay, so that's fine. So I'm going to replace this distillery here, which has done its job. It's got me the whiskey. I don't lose that. It just goes on top now. And basically counts as if I just put this wheat down. So I get myself one wheat. 
and two Scotsman movements, which I'm definitely going to use on my ship, because at the moment we're just, it's neck and neck in this race. So I have the option of a coin, a stone, or three points. I, I have stone and a lot of coins. I think I'd be happy with three points. There are also things to consider, like one of these things here. If I took this clan marker, it happens straight away, not at the end of the game. Two points for every overbuilt tile you've got. So that's something I can be thinking about now. I can look out for more of them. No more have come out just yet. Oh, there we go. We have a new, we have Inverness, a new village that's a landmark as well. And that doesn't add a tile to my kingdom, which is another bonus. I've got something new. I've replaced something that's not useful. Now, Inverness would be great because it could overbuild Lock Shield. That's not doing anything for me. That's for the future, though, isn't it? So now I could get myself some production of sheep, some more stone. I've, I've produced stone, though, and it's full. I'm not using it. I could get this in here, another trading post that just... It's two points whenever it's activated. It costs, though, a stone I'm fine with, whiskey... I don't particularly want to fall behind on. But perhaps if we build up some wheat up here, we can get a distillery later. I'm going to grab this. So I'm jumping ahead. I need to pay a stone from here, which means I'm happy to put tiles back down here again because that can be activated again. I need to pay a whiskey. And I get myself two points and a wheat on there. And then I'm going to use my two movement again for my boat. So I'm almost into Marty's territory here. But he is making it longer and longer for me. New tiles are coming out. We've got ourselves Iona Abbey. Produces anything you want and it overbuilds. And a new village. The dummy player is taking something away. Two. One, two. Actually, it's right in the back, isn't it? So these are probably going anyway. Let's just say they're gone. And uh, then he roll again. One, two. Oh, he's taking Dwark Castle, which would have been get a clan marker and pay one less for it. That's unfortunate. But, you know, maybe... Actually, the, the take something from the discard pile power has gone away, hasn't it? I used that. So, no Dwark Castle for anyone. It's me again. Would I like another forest? I could st keep Marty out of the forestry game. He does have a wood hanging around, though. I think I'm going for Inverness. Because I can overbuild... Lock Shield, which, sorry, no offense, Lock Shield, isn't doing anything for me right now. I've, I've had its benefit. That doesn't go away. I don't lose the card. It still counts towards the majority for the scoring. But now, I do have to pay a sheep, which I haven't got, so that's going to cost me a coin, isn't it? That's a bit of a downside. It's my own fault for not being a sheep farmer. But now I get myself a Scotsman on this tile. I've got a lot of my Scotsman out right now. I get the card for Inverness, which gets me a wheat and a whiskey. So I've made up for that whiskey that I lost earlier. And so let's see. In terms of resources, I'm getting a cattle on here, a wood on here, two points, and one, two, three movements, absolutely all going on the ship. So we imagine, imagine Marty's is twisted that way, and it might make more sense the way I'm coming in here. So I'm one away from getting the bonus from his castle. You don't get a bonus from your own castle, by the way, when you reach the end. Your bonus is the scoring. I need to catch up on my tile refilling. So we've got some points there, some cows there. More cows, but that one's an overbuild. And we have sheep. So Marty could get himself a free forest. Although, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... Yeah, I didn't see the wood for the trees there. The, the distillery that I'm building up for is waiting for me right there, and Marty's going to take it away from me. Does he want to take the forest first so he's got some wood production? Or does he want to keep his tile numbers down? I think he wants to keep his tile numbers down. He's going to jump ahead, grab himself another distillery, which he doesn't really need. But yeah, the forest's gone. Gets himself the distillery. And he kind of wants to put it by the wheat, doesn't he? Oh, that would be perfect. If he places it down here... Am I still on the static camera? Yep, you can see me. If he places it down here, it's next to a Scotsman, so that's fine. It costs him the stone that he's got on there. He gets a whiskey barrel for taking it. Then, he activates the wheat field here. So he gets another one. And then he can activate both of his distilleries. 
getting two more whiskey, and it also activates his cattle farm there. So he's got two, four, six, eight to my three. He's five ahead. That's going to be eight points in scoring. That could have been a bad move for me to miss out on that. I completely forgot about my distillery plans for a second there. We need a couple more tiles, don't we? So what have we got? Oh dear, I can't keep hold of them. We've got Charles the first there. And we've got uh, some more stone. So what's the dummy player taking away? He's taking away that village. New tile is some more animal trading. Okay, my turn. I think I have to take Loch Ness. It's another landmark. I can keep Marty on my land a little bit more. I'd activate more things putting it on this side, but... Yeah, either way. Putting it on this side, you see, makes it harder for me when I come back in. Gives me an extra space. So I think I'm going to try and be a bit sneaky and put it this side. I do lose a Scotsman. Which I don't want. I think I'm going to have to lose one off my castle because these are fairly important for putting new tiles out I think could do with one up at the top really couldn't we let's let's lose this one I don't think that's going to be too bad but Loch Ness's power I now get to activate a tile every turn so I get myself a wheat and a stone as well and I'm going to get to move... I could move a Scotsman up there, like I was thinking about. But I really want to keep my boat moving and get myself a nice bonus. So that's going to be two points or wheat or sheep. I think sheep. They cost two coins at the moment. I'm going to get some sheep. Now, the, we can get rid of these because Marty doesn't get one when he goes on there. Marty, I think... Now the inn would be nice, the village would be nice, he hasn't really got many Scotsmen, but he's going to grab this abbey. He's got the wood to spend, because this produces anything that he likes. It does have to, there's only one option to overbuild actually, he's only got this wheat producing place. Now if this did have resources on it, they would carry on top of this one. They don't. Now unfortunately, Marty's going to say produce wheat, because he wants... This to activate. He wants the distillery to activate and keep getting more whiskey. Does he pay two coins so that he can have another wheat to get both whiskeys? I think he's going to do that. He really wants to push that lead. So he's going to basically produce another wheat. He's going to buy another wheat so that he can activate both these distilleries and get two whiskey. He gets another cattle out here. And two movements that will be used on his boat. And I think that's that. New tiles, we have more wheat, which Marty probably wants. And a fair there that lets you produce different things again, but now you have the option. Two different things for four points, four different things for eight points. The dummy player takes away one, two, three, the cattle farm there. Now, I already have loads more tiles than Marty. So it's tempting to skip ahead to something. But... Like, I could get the inn, maybe. I have wood, and Marty's so far ahead of me in whiskey barrels now. But fair enough, I can, I can try and get a distillery later so I've got something to do with all of this stuff. Maybe I want the inn, though, to keep producing more points. And just cut my losses on whiskey. Because he doesn't get more points if the gap is more than five. He just gets eight points and that's it. So do I try and recover a bit from here? And maybe get that uh, cattle trading tile in the future. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to place it up here. So that costs me a wood and a whiskey. And it produces me three, five points and two movements. The movement's going to get me out of Marty's kingdom. and I've nearly caught up with him. See, him not taking as many tiles is meaning that he's not getting as many activations, not as much movement. New tiles, there's a distillery way up in the future there. Now, does Marty want this village? I think he kind of does. I am about four tiles ahead of him, so he can afford to get an extra one, I think. He is going to... Oh, he's going to place... Oh, if he places it there, it's perfect for all of this movement and the distillery and stuff, but he hasn't got any wheat to make more whiskey, and he doesn't need more whiskey. 
Maybe he just puts it out then. Yeah, he'll just... Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a river one. So he can't put it there. He would have to put it here. It would give him three movements, but give him an extra space to go up. I think he's going to skip over that village then. He's changed his mind. He's not going to overbuild because he would just be overbuilding cattle with more cattle. It, on the other hand, it wouldn't increase his number of things. It would give him an extra cattle, a wheat there. Distillery doesn't need that though, does he? And two movements. No, he's going to skip right ahead. Does he want the sheep or does he want Charles I and an ability? Charles I. So the village gets discarded. And let's refill these now while I'm thinking about it. So we have rubber burns and we have some more wood. So Marty's clad tile, where's it going? He's only got one coin. So I think for free, he's, yeah, he's not going for any of these abilities. It's later in the game. These are worth it. You know, points for the number of river tiles, the number of landmark tiles, the, you know, whenever you produce whiskey, this could be good for Marty, actually. He can't afford it to get, he can't afford to get there, unfortunately. It costs two coins to get there. But the ability here is, every time a distillery is activated, you can choose to get two points instead of producing the whiskey. Yeah, it's a shame he spent all those coins on that whiskey earlier. Although, does he have something he could sell? No. The only resource he's got is cattle. And the people don't want cattle. So yeah, he's just going to get three coins. And hopefully he can get another person soon. And grab that tile, or maybe he wants uh, two points for every person or something like that. I'm last, and I am going to grab this overbuilding tile, and I am just going to be replacing my existing cattle tile, because it's going to cost me a sheep. No questions there. But it does get me to activate all of these tiles at once, which is a really huge benefit of these overbuilding tiles, because hopefully you're overbuilding something that's already surrounded by a load of tiles. So I get another cattle on there. The existing cattle stay there. I get myself a stone. Unfortunately, that's wasted. I can't do anything about it. Oh, actually, before I did the move, I could have sold the stone for a coin, which means now I can produce a stone. Brilliant. And I can. I might as well do this, actually. I'm going to sell my wood for two coins while it's expensive. Because I can always just buy it back with those two coins. I could do the same for my wheat as well, actually. Although then I'm making the wheat cheaper for Marty. And I know he keeps making whiskey. Although I know that he doesn't need to make whiskey. Ah, let's not think about that too much. Let's now do the cattle conversion again. Three cattle for seven points. And then that's one, two, three, four, five movements. This should end it, shouldn't it? One, two, three, four... And coming back in five, one movement off winning the race. Marty does have to actually finish to get his seven points, though. So I'm second here. Do I want a wood or three points? I've got a forest. I think I'll have three points. A new tile comes out. It's uh, Armadale Castle. And that means that the dummy player is going to get rid of something now. He's just getting rid of this sheep tile. And a new one comes out, which is going to be C scoring. That's another shipbuilder. So, people on castles, I have three to Marty's one again, so that's two points for me. Landmarks, I have three, four to Marty's two, so that's two points for me. Whiskey, Marty definitely has more than five, uh, more than me, so he gets eight points. And then people, I still have two. Marty has one, two, three, four, five. So he has three more, that's three points. My turn, more cattle training would be nice, especially because, you know, Marty's got cattle, I can see, and I could stop him getting that, but at the same time, it would just be wasting a turn for me, getting an extra tile ahead of Marty, and I'm already going to be punished a bit there. I don't need any more wheat, do I? I know Marty wants wheat, though. Do I want to take that away from him? I could skip all the way to Kenmore Fair. I think I'm going to do this, actually. I'm going to skip to Kenmore Fair, and... Where shall I put it? I do want a bit of movement. I'd like it up here. I haven't got a Scotsman up here, actually. Let's put it here for now. It costs me a wood, which I haven't got, so I'll have to buy back that wood that I sold for two coins to the market. And then let's do the conversion here first. Four things. Let's just sell one of these. Two, three, four things for eight points. Oh, they have to all be different, though, don't they? 
So I've only got two different things. Okay. So I want, I want one off there so that there's space to produce. So two different things is four points. Then I produce a stone. And I get two movements. One will move my ship back to here. So I now get 15 points at the end of the game. And a barrel of whiskey as my prize. Marty needs to finish the race to get seven. With my other movements, I'm actually going to move one of these Scotsmen up so that I can put some tiles up here. I'm going to have to do some moving around to do that. But then I could activate, you know, five points a time. New tile is a distillery that just gets you three whiskey. Could catch me back up. That's a while away. Marty, oh no, the dummy player takes away a quarry. New tile is Castle of May. So we should get the cards out, shouldn't we? So we know what they do. The Castle of May's ability is when you take it, activate all of your tiles. Marty is going to give up the cattle tile, I think. He wants... Oh, does he want to produce more wheat, though? He's got so much whiskey, he doesn't care about that. No, I'm still, uh, I'm still acting like there's some uh, competition in the whiskey. So he's going to get this cattle tile. He's going to pop it there because he can still produce a whiskey. Although he doesn't need to, does he? He wants, the, he wants that ability that lets him get two points instead. Anyway, so he's going to activate this, get rid of his two cattle for five points, produce a cattle, and then anything he likes, he's going to produce wood and sell it straight away for two coins. Well, actually, he can't place that down here, can he? Because there's no Scotsman here. He would have to place it on this side, which would mean he didn't produce another cattle, which is a bit unfortunate. New tile is Castle Moyle. That means that you can double the number of Scotsmen that you've got on your castle. Dummy player rolls a one, gets rid of this wheat field. I don't think anyone was taking that anyway. The new tile that comes out is Apple Cross. It's four points. Costs you a whiskey to get. Marty surely doesn't want another distillery. Could stop me getting a distillery, but he's going to skip ahead. He's got coins now. He's going to go to the person tile. It's another person to put him further in the lead there. And then he's going to spend those two coins so he can get the McPherson. Oh, it's not the McPherson ability, is it? It's the Campbell ability. So he can now activate distilleries. Oh, yeah. So he wouldn't want his, he wouldn't want his card there, would he? Oh, he's, yeah. He's made a mistake there because he can't activate all of his distilleries as many times. So maybe that's not great. We could, you know, you can forego movement for a point each, but Marty needs loads of movement. Two points for each of your villages. He's just got his starting one, so that's no good. Two points for each overbuild. He's only got one. Two points for each Scotsman. That would be six points. Two points for each landmark would only be four points. Two points for each river tile. He's got five of those. Could be ten points. Point for each coin, and then every time you activate a trade tile, get two points. I think he's going to go for... It still costs two coins. He's going to go for Sutherland there, and two points for every river tile is ten points to Marty. It happens right now rather than at the end of the game. We need a new tile, don't we? And that's going to be Glenisle Fair. And that's an overbuild trade tile. Dummy player's getting rid of something. It's <laughs> just going one at a time. Oh, he's getting rid of the distillery. Oh, so even if I had wanted that, he's got rid of it. Uh, we have uh, Falkirk Trist there, where you can trade one cattle and one sheep for seven points. That's pretty huge. Then it's my turn. Do I want a village? I could try and boost up the number of Scots when I've got on my castle. Yeah, there's not long left. Do I jump ahead and get Armadale Castle, which gives me, I think it's the first eight coins at the end of the game. They're worth an extra point each. They're worth a point each anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping ahead to that. So, where's it going to go for a start? I want, to, I want it to go up here, don't I? Let's, let's move my Scotsman out of the way. And so it costs wheat, stone, and wood. Wood, wood costs two coins. So I hope this is still worth it. I might want to get myself some more coins before the end of this. I could sell another wheat to get a coin back. I get a Scotsman on the castle. I get a movement, so I'm going to move this Scotsman back down. And I get... There it is. There's the tile for it. I get myself a wheat. And then five points. 
and I can activate anything, I think I'm going to give myself a wood and then sell it to get my two coins back. New tile comes out and it's James Watt. We have the die that gets rid of this tile, so he's going to go again. Uh, one, two, three. It's a distillery. Oh, the one that would have caught me up nicely. The dummy player is really working against me here, but I don't think I've played that well for Marty, so that could be a good thing. We have the end tile here. Now, this isn't the end of the game. As soon as you, you basically get one turn going over the end tile, there's going to be more tiles coming out, and as soon as each player has taken a tile after the end tile, we have the end game scoring. So it's Marty. I don't think he wants a forest. I think he maybe wants the ship builder. He doesn't have a cattle though, so that would cost him a coin. He's so far away from doing this. I think he's going to... Oh, this could be a waste. He's going to grab the ship builder and pay a coin for the cattle he hasn't got. Now, if he doesn't move along, this means he can't take a tile with a river on it. Although these castles don't have rivers on, so I, don't, I think he's just going to not have river placement chances. <laughs> so he's going to use all that four movements, one, two, three, four, to go through mine. He's still so far off. But he, if he can stop putting tiles down here now, then he can get himself, you know, five movements at once. So what are his bonus chances? Two points, cattle, two points. He'll have two points. The forest goes away, and we have more tiles coming out. I'm less, so would I like Castle of May or Castle Moyle? Now, Castle Moyle, Marty's only got one clan... I nearly said clansman, they're called Scotsman now. Uh, <laughs> he has one Scotsman on his castle. To my three, I would have six to his one and get myself a big benefit. Lock Morar means you can take two tiles away. That's coming out later on, though. That's after the end. So Marty could take that and hurt me even more, cost me six more points. If he gets rid of tiles, he might not even care about. And the Castle of May would let you activate everything once. Would that be good? To activate this trade tile. It's a load of points, isn't it? For doing it, it's another landmark. I think that's more points than the Castle Moyle. So I'm going to go for the Castle of May. But actually, is this going to cost me loads? It's going to cost me two, four coins to get. I can afford it, but my coins are all worth two points each. So maybe I don't want this one. And I want Castle Moyle because that's only going to cost me two coins, which is four points. I only produced wood and kept it there. But yeah, I'm going to... Although I could place it next to my wood production, and then it wouldn't be so bad, would it? So I'm paying two coins to buy a single wood. And I'm paying a stone just from my supplies. But if I put it up, if I put it down there, it makes wood, fair enough. But if I put it up here, it makes five points. So that's that wins out, I'm afraid. So I I've paid the resources. I get myself a Scotsman on there. And then I get the Castle Moyle tile, so we need to remember that. Oh, this is what I keep doing at the end of turns, isn't it? I keep using Loch Ness to make a wood and then sell it. So I have two Scotsman movements. I'm going to move this one down two onto the castle, which is doubled. Then I get five points and that's it. And yes, with my Loch Ness activation, I'm going to make a wood and then I'm going to sell that wood and get my coins back. New tile is the Highland Market. Three of anything for eight points. Marty, does he want Castle of May? He doesn't have... See, it would cost him. He hasn't got any of those resources. It would cost him more than he has, so he can't even choose that. I've just played really terribly for Marty this whole time. What he can do is grab this trade tile... And it costs him a whiskey. He's so far in the lead for whiskey, it doesn't even matter. He's going to place it here. It's still adjacent. It's next to a Scotsman. That's fine. He gets five movements. So let's grab his ship. One, two, three, four, five. He's now one, two, three, four, five away. If he can get another tile up there, he can grab his seven points. And so he can get a coin or a stone. I think he's going to get a coin. New tile is going to be Islay Farm. 
which gets you a uh, cattle and a sheep. Dummy player takes away one, two. So the fair is gone. And the castle of May is gone, actually, as well. Activate all of your stuff. Marty would have loved to have done that. And then I think it's the final tiles coming out now. Two more tiles after this. For me, I don't have a cattle and a sheep, so that's not very attractive. I'm going to go with James Watt for another person. And it means I can get one of these scoring things. Now, I have to bear in mind that it costs me two points for every coin I'm going to spend. So I do have six landmark cards. So that would be 12 points. I have one, two, three, four, five, six Scotsmen. So that would be 12 points. Point for every coin, I've only got five of them. Two points for every overbuild, that would be six. Again, not as good. I think let's go for, I think the cheapest is Scotsman, although they're both the same, actually. I'm going to go for a Scotsman because Marty might take that, maybe. And he's got fewer landmarks than Scotsman. So I'm going to pay one coin. Two points for every Scotsman is 12 points. Marty is going to grab Arthur Conan Doyle. For That's another person. And then he's going to pay a coin to get the help of Clan Cameron because it lets him activate a trade tile. He's going to activate this one and grab four points. And it gives him three movements. One, two, three. He's only two away now. Hopefully he can make that. Dummy player takes away. He takes that one and then rolls again. And one, no, oh, we don't count the end. One, two, takes that bridge away. And so the, the final tile should have come out already. Some resource production, another person. And so here is the last choice, really. I probably want Loch Morar. These other things are okay. Like you activate this ruin so that you can put a uh, clan tile out. Which, you know, I've got, I've, they're worth 12 points to me, aren't they? Maybe that's something to do. Yeah, I think the best thing for me to do is to have a person tile. So I'm going to grab David Livingston here. And I'm paying a coin to get the help of, is that Clan Brody? And I have one, two, three, four, five, six landmark tiles, so that's going to be 12 points. Now, Marty's choice, he can't take Loch Marab because he made that decision earlier on that he wasn't going to move his Scotsman to let him build on the river again. So he can't take that. He doesn't have any goods built up at all. I've Really, really, you know, some, sometimes I play better for myself. I think I've really messed Marty up here. Do not play like Marty. I could just get some resources. So he could get something like... If he got that and then produced three things, but he's, he's only got these two production spaces. Yeah, skipped over too many things, I think. Maybe it would be worth putting this down. It replaces a castle. You put this down, get two movements, which isn't enough. And then he'd get to put a person out. But I don't think that's worth it. Can't take a river one. Maybe he just wants something that isn't going to cost him any money so he can get seven points. And he could sell the sheep for a coin. Yeah, it's a bit sad, isn't it? Although he only, he only does need two movements. Yeah, he's going to grab this. Urquhart Ruin, I think. Yeah, his ship's here. So he could overbuild Dunan Castle. It costs him a person. But then he gets himself. Oh yeah, this works out. He gets two movements. So he moves there. And there we go. He's in second place in the race. Let's right to distillery. He's not going to do that. He gets to trade in anything... Any resource for a thing I can't think of? Uh, clan tile. So surely this is worth it. He could buy a wheat, say. This is the cheapest thing. He buy a wheat, and then he gets to put a clan marker out. I think the best he can do, actually, is this one. He has to pay a coin, which is one point, and he gets four points, two points for every overbuilt tile. He's only got two. But then he does get four points from his apple cross there as well. And so that's it. Time for the fourth scoring. For people on the castle, I have eight to Marty's one, so that's definitely a bigger difference than five. I get eight points. Landmark, Marty only ended up with two. I had six, so four more is five points to me. Whiskey, 
Marty undoubtedly wins that and gets eight points. And people, I have one, two, three, four. Marty has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's only a difference of three. So it's three points, though. It's something. Then finally, we get a point for each coin. So that's one for Marty, one, two, three, four for me. Then we look at territory size. Marty's territory is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve tiles big. Mine is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I have four more tiles than Marty, which means I lose three points for each. That's twelve points. And then the only end game scoring tile I think we have here is this one, which is basically another four points for my coins. And so the final score is kind of as bad as I'd been dreading. Marty gets 10, 20, 30, 40, 56. But I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 88. So not ridiculous, but yeah, I think Marty got too stunted by not having any production practically. He had amazing whiskey production, but when that kind of reached its limits and wasn't really effective anymore, didn't really have anything else to do. Could have done with more resource things so he didn't have to spend money and could have taken more things. Maybe Lock Mara, if he'd got that, he could have got the movement still and could have cost me some more points. That could have been a good thing. He would have had another landmark. But hey, it's too late to think about all of that, isn't it? This is just an example game anyway. This is just an example game anyway, so I hope this has given you a good idea of what the game is like. And remember, you can go to the Kickstarter page if you'd like to see what the final stuff is hopefully going to look like. And yeah, if you'd like to know what I think, you can click the link in the bottom corner there, and I'll tell you all about it. But it's up to you, really. I'll see you there if you want to. Bye, everyone.